بتكون منيح مع الناس بيركبوك بتكون عرصة معهم ايه بيحترموك جينا من عالم ثالث من كم بليرموك عالم بارد These rappers have a story to tell They're brothers They grew up in Syria And they call themselves the refugees of rap Yasser and Mohammed's parents were Palestinian refugees in Syria the two boys were raised in the Yarmouk refugee camp on the outskirts of Damascus. It was here in the early 2000s that the brothers started rapping after hearing artists like 50 Cent, Eminem and Tupac. They put together a recording studio and in 2007, the refugees of rap were born. It helps to make people aware of the situation and make them understand they shouldn't be quiet. We really have to speak about what we're living, to speak about the torture and the regime's repression. There was censorship in Syria. There was a lot of pressure on us if we talked politics, if we expressed ourselves and all that. So we were eager to get to a point where we could really say how we felt. In 2012, the reality of war came calling, as Yarmouk became the front line of the Syrian war. With rebel factions hiding in its streets, the camp was bombed by the Syrian air force. Yasser Mohammed's recording studio was destroyed in one of these attacks. A year later, the two brothers left Damascus. When we got here, there was no housing, there was no aid. You had to wait for months to get set up. So we chose to book some concert dates and get to work. As you know, things take time here. So it took six to eight months before we were given the refugee status. Like many rappers, Yasser and Mohammed's rhymes reflect the adversity they faced growing up, with tracks like Forbidden, The Revolt of the People, and We Will Not Kneel. Many of the lyrics take aim at the Syrian regime. But speaking up against the powers that be also means becoming a target. We received two or three messages on Facebook. The messages said, we know you're preparing an album and if you don't stop, it's over for you. We're going to destroy your studio. We're going to stop you. We're going to kill you. Today, the refugees of rap have been given asylum in France. They're preparing a third album, and they're working with veteran French hip-hop producer Imhotep. With war still raging in Syria, the two rappers aren't planning on dropping the mic anytime soon.